So today's video is gonna be my February favorites. These were products I was really loving in the month of February and wow, even though February is only like two to three days shorter than the average month, why does it feel like you blink and February is gone? I know it's the fastest month, but it really does feel like the fastest month ever. To the point where I was looking at my list of most used, most loved things and I was like, it's a short list this month. I guess because I was trying a lot of products this month. Oh my gosh, February was jam-packed with new makeup. And because of that, I have just been testing out so many things. I feel like I haven't been able to tie myself down to one product. Except for these things. <laughs> I swear by everything I'm going to talk about right now. Like, I'm talking about I swear by these products. I love them. Highly recommend them. And even though I don't have that many things to talk about, we'll be here for a while. February may be short and sweet, but my videos are not. I want to talk about the Cover FX Gripping Primer because I have been using this primer a lot ever since I got it. I feel like I've been using this for a solid three months now or like two months now and I have really been loving this. I like using this after I apply my moisturizer or after I apply a more dewy hydrating primer because this one doesn't do much for my hydration. I still feel like I need some moisture whenever I use this but this keeps my makeup on all freaking day. It reminds me so much of the J1 Red Jelly Pack, but I actually think this was breaking me out and I haven't had any breakouts from this. It also reminds me of the Double Tensor Sisley Primer that's like $700, where it feels really nice and tacky and it just helps grab onto your foundation and just keep it on all day. I think this primer works just as good as those two that I showed you, but I can just honestly tell the difference whenever I use this primer versus another primer. I have been using the Dewy one a a lot as well but that one can get a little bit slippy and if you're not careful if you apply too much it can be a little bit greasy and sometimes it'll do the opposite of this and it'll make your foundation slide a little bit more so I like using them both together whenever I do use the dewy one because the dewy one makes my skin look like glass for real but I'm on the hunt for a primer that does that while still keeping my makeup on all day because that one is a little bit oily and it doesn't help with the lasting power this one truly truly does and I feel like you would like it no matter what skin type you are because even though I always add more hydration it doesn't dry me out by any means I just have very dry skin so I always take the extra step but I really really have been enjoying this if you've been looking for a primer to really make your makeup last all day I would check this out okay I don't want to talk about these too long because I feel like I mentioned them in every video but I have been using them so much in February like wow so much I've said this in my last 10 videos but I've been loving blush so much I just can't get enough and even though I've been using other blushes besides this like my buxom ones I'm still using that I'm still using toasted cinnamon I have just been truly loving and enjoying the new Milani baked blushes they just take me back to old school YouTube I love them these are colors that I have been dying for Milani to release for a really long time I've been wanting colors like this in the baked range I'm actually wearing this one on my face right now it's sunset passion and it is so gorgeous I love rosy cheeks and this gives you that beautiful rosy glow but it has a really gorgeous warm undertone that kind of makes your cheeks look suntanned kind of not suntanned but this would actually look really gorgeous in the summertime because it kind of has like a burnt element to it do I make any sense I hope so but you know what I mean it has like that toastiness to it that kind of makes me feel a little bit more tan I don't know how to explain it but they're both really beautiful I wear Pero Primavera all the time if you haven't checked these out, you need to. If you're into baked blushes, you need these. They're so glowy and soft and blend like an absolute dream. I have two highlights I wanna talk about and I love them both so much. The first one is from Melt Cosmetics and this is their Stargazer highlight. I love the name Stargazer, it's so pretty. This highlight reminds me so much of the Anastasia Amrizi highlight in terms of formula, but it's a little bit more champagne, a little less gold, almost gold, but it has a little bit of peachy pink in there as well. That's a horrible description, but it's a really beautiful highlight. I love the formula on this. Just like the Amrizi one, your skin looks so wet when you apply this, and it doesn't look too metallic. So many um, highlights with this formula will look a little bit too intense on the cheek, and it'll literally look like a stripe of highlight on your face. This one does not do that to you. I love that you can really build this up. You can get the most natural everyday highlight with this but then you can turn around and build it up at night and get the most intense j-lo glow oh, people will see you from across the dance floor but it still won't look too much it'll look just right 
and I honestly really love this brand specifically for their eyeshadows I feel like they have some of the most amazing eyeshadows out there So I really wanted to give some of their other stuff a shot and I have not been disappointed and then my other highlight is a lot more affordable and I don't know which one I like more to be honest. I might even like this one a little bit more. I have been using and abusing this so much since I got it in the mail. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Bloom Time. As you guys know, they have a ton of these highlights. There's Golden Flower Crown. That one I think is like the most popular. But oh my gosh, this one is my favorite. This is the prettiest one. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my cheeks right now and it is the most stunning, most wet golden pink highlight I have ever seen it is absolutely beautiful you'll notice when you start using it that the pink there's like a pink I don't want to say glitter or shimmer because it's not really glittery or like sparkly or anything but it's almost like this overspray of a pinky color and the more that you use it the more the gold really shines through but I don't feel like it affects the highlight once it's on your face it always looks like this really gorgeous golden highlight that has a slight peachy pinky champagne undertone honestly there's no other way to describe this highlight except perfection serious Perfection. I hope this bloom time color isn't limited edition because I will get so upset I will get so upset if this is not permanent because this is the best highlight what and wild has ever come out with ever I feel like I'm gonna be using it so much. I feel like I look at my skin and I'm like wow That's a high-end highlight if you ask me. This is so good. This is so good uh. Ever since I filmed my milk makeup video I have been using the matte bronzer in baked like every single day and I know that video just went up this week but I had filmed it the week prior. So I've been using this for a few days now and I cannot get enough of it. I feel like I've used it before, but maybe I was trying it out before I got really, really into cream makeup. But I didn't think much of this until I used it in that video and I just fell in love. It is a matte bronzer, but it gives your skin a glowy matte look. Like you look sculpted and contoured, but somehow you also look very glowy and bronzed and like you're on vacation at the same time. It has kind of like a sheen to it almost, but it is matte. It's truly a wonderful bronzer and if you have a very deep skin tone, they do have a shade that's deeper than this. I want to mention my e.l.f. bronzer because every time I use a drugstore product over and over and over again, it honestly just reminds me that you don't have to spend a lot on makeup to get a nice look. This is the primer infused bronzer in Forever Sunkissed and I love this so much. I'm actually wearing this bronzo com- bronzo combo. <laughs> bronzer combo on my skin right now. This bronzer blends so well. The formula is really, really nice, really creamy. Like when you blend this on the skin, it just, it's so silky and smooth and I love the color of this bronzer. I know I say that about a lot of bronzers, but this really doesn't give you too much of anything. It has a little coolness to it. It has a little warmth to it. It even has a little pink to it, especially when you see it in person. Overall, the color is just really nice and I love applying this on top of any bronzer. It's kind of been my finishing touch and most of the times my finishing touch bronzers are shimmery shimmery because I like that glowy finish but I feel like this gives me that while being matte it's another glowy matte bronzer oh my gosh this is totally cheating I am totally cheating because I've only had this for like a week but for the last week I have been using it every single day this is the velvet primer from Marc Jacobs and it's actually a beige color I'm used to seeing them either white or black which doesn't does it matter? The color doesn't matter. The formula though. This makes your lashes feel really soft while making them look so much longer and so much thicker no matter what mascara you wear on top of this. Like I have personally been testing out the new Pat McGrath mascara all week. I just recently got it in the mail and I have been using it a lot. And while it's really good completely on its own, in combination with this, it makes my lashes look really, really long. I'm wearing the Pat McGrath mascara right now on my top lashes. I have the Caution mascara from Hourglass on my bottom lashes, but underneath the Pat mascara, I am wearing the Velvet primer and I swear it made such a difference. It made them so much longer. It really helps with length more than anything. If you're wondering what else is on my eyes, I have the Dream Street palette everywhere. And then I have the Twins pigment all over my lid and on my lower lash line. And then I have the Scales pigment on my inner corners. I also have the Twins nail polish on my nails. I, but I love this, I love this, I love this. I know it's a $26 primer, which is crazy, but I see a huge difference whenever I use this. And granted, I'll probably see a huge difference if I use any eyelash primer, but this one takes it to another level. This one is like one of those things that I say, that's expensive, but that's worth it. 
Wet n Wild is killing it. Wet n Wild stays killing it. I have been using their foundation stick like crazy. I just didn't include it in this video because I feel like I've been talking about the same things over and over, but I've been using that a lot. The foundation I'm wearing today though is the Becca Aqua Luminous foundation. Do you remember? I used to love that. I haven't used it in forever. But their new Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine lipsticks are so good. I recently got this PR box that had a bunch of these and then it had brand new liquid eyeshadows in it as well. And at first when I saw these, I thought they were new liquid lipsticks. But when I read the bottle and I saw that it said High Shine lipstick, I got really really excited. I feel like I have been loving so many things I didn't love before when it comes to makeup I am crazy about shiny lips these days really glossy really juicy really shiny and I mentioned to you guys the other day that I have been buying so many shiny lipsticks. I just love seeing nudes and pinks and browns just have this beautiful shine on the lips. Oh, I'm really into it. This is like if a liquid lipstick, a traditional matte liquid lipstick and a juicy lip gloss had a baby. Because it has the pigmentation and the opacity of a liquid lipstick, these are really, really opaque, but they have that incredible juicy shine of a lip gloss. They are really, really good. They have a bunch of different shades. My favorite one is Send Nudes because it's a freaking nude. So basic of me, I know, but I also really, really love Cedar Later, which is another nude, but a more deep nude, so. It's just when it comes to shiny lip products, I like more earthy tones and I, I just love these. Definitely check these out. Like I said, they have a bunch of different colors and I love them. They're so juicy. Okay, so this one I'm also really, really cheating. But when I tell you that I can't get enough, I am not. I am not kidding. So I don't know if you've heard, but Tarte recently launched a sister brand. It's called Sugar Rush, and everything is supposed to be under $30. Sugar Rush reminds me of the brand Too Faced. It's kind of young. Everything is like cutesy packaging, and even though Tarte is known for their cutesy packaging, this is even cutesier. It's a little bit more young, and I recently got this giant PR package with all of the new Sugar Rush products, and I noticed this in the PR package, and these said Tarte on it. Everything else said Sugar Rush, but these products I think are just from Tarte. Okay, wait, I just went on the Ulta website because I'm pretty sure Sugar Rush is actually exclusive to Ulta, but you can also get it like on the Sugar Rush website. So I went on Ulta to look these up because these are exclusive to Ulta and these are from Tarte, but they're called the Sugar Rush Lip Sip Vegan Lip Oils. That confuses the crap out of me. But anyway, these are amazing, especially the shade uh, Fresh Pressed, specifically the shade Fresh Pressed because I've only tested these out on my lips. I haven't actually worn them out, but I feel like I have used so much of mine already. Like I have gone through so much of this. It's been living in my purse since I got it. You guys have no idea how many lip products I have in my purse. It's kind of sad. There's like 10 at the bottom of my purse at all times. And now this is another one. This is a lip oil, but honestly it feels more like a gloss than an oil. I've used several lip oils in the past and they always feel a little bit more slidey and just a little bit more oily, of course. This has a tackiness to it. It's not slippy or greasy. This feels more like a traditional lip gloss, but like a thick, thick, juicy lip gloss. It has a bunch of different oils in it. It has jojoba, hazel, sunflower seed oil, and I just think these look so nice on the lips. It has this juicy, thick jelliness to it that make your lips look like freaking glass. I love this so much. I'm gonna apply a little bit of Fresh Brights. I love this so much, but the best thing about this is the scent, hands down. On Ulta, it says it has a raspberry sugar cookie flavor. Um, I disagree. This doesn't taste the way it smells. I'm just gonna be very clear about that. I actually taste this throughout the day, and even though it's not unpleasant, I mean, it tastes, it tastes like gloss. It tastes a little thick. It's not amazing. It definitely doesn't have a raspberry sugar cookie flavor, and that's also not what I smell. I smell Push Pops. You guys need to check this out. I don't know if they have it on display at Ulta, but go in there, grab yourself a fresh pressed lip oil, take a good sniff, and tell me that this doesn't smell like freaking Push Pops. First time I smelled it, it immediately took me back to my childhood. Oh yeah, I'm sorry it did. I ate Push Pops a lot growing up, and I just knew that scent the moment I smelled it. Oh my God, I was like in elementary school all over again. It was beautiful. I smell it and I get so excited. It's like so nostalgic for me. My favorite thing about this is the scent, but the formula is actually really good as well. Okay, and then I also have a skincare product to share with you guys. I have tried to put this in my favorites video for the last three months and I keep forgetting 
every single month because it stays in the bathroom in my bedroom and I always forget to grab it. But this is the Thrive Cosmetics Overnight Sensation Brightening Sleep Mask and this has become a staple in my skincare routine. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first got this in the mail, I was extremely skeptical because, I mean, Thrive Cosmetics is a makeup company and I don't usually use skincare products from brands that also sell makeup and, and this is, <laughs> that's expensive. This is like 60 bucks. That is a lot for a face mask. But I saw results the first time I used this. Like instantly right away the next morning, I woke up and I was like, oh, wow. I only use this product about two to three times a week because I do feel like it is pretty strong and it does a lot and I don't want to overdo it on my skin. And plus, the back of the bottle recommends to only use it two to three times a week, so that's what I do. But you just apply a thin layer to your face right before bed, and it leaves your skin with like this pearly, luminescent kind of finish. And when you wake up in the morning, at least for me, everything looks better. My redness looks less red. My pimples look smaller. It just has a ton of good ingredients in it as well. It has vitamin C, glycolic acid, lavender oil. It even has um, aloe vera which you know is my savior when it comes to skin. I ride hard for aloe vera and this has it in it. And I just find this works really well for my skin. And this isn't sponsored. My favorite videos are never sponsored just because somebody sends something to me. Doesn't mean I have to talk about it in a positive light or doesn't mean I have to talk about it at all. This was sent to me months ago, but I have been using it so much and it's so good. I keep forgetting to talk about it. And of course, last but not least, I just want to show you guys the necklaces I'm wearing right now. My sister has gotten so many new things at CEO. She has been expanding so much. I can't wait for you guys to see all the new things that are about to come as well. But I mainly wanted to show you guys this necklace. Well, these are two different necklaces This is like the dangly star necklace and then they also have the star choker I love the star choker the most but I also love layering them together or wearing the dangly one on its own But I just had to share it with you guys because it's such a beautiful necklace It feels so luxurious and I have gotten so many questions about my sister's seal bag She has a monthly subscription service over at seal you save so much money when you sign up for the seal bag not only on just the Stuff that's in your bag you don't only save money on the box but if you become a member of the seal bag automatically you get 20% off of her website at all times like always you always have 20% off of everything if you subscribe to the seal bag which I think is really amazing so I wanted to mention that because I know a ton of you don't know that for those of you who love silver as well the seal bag is actually gonna start having a silver option and that's definitely more helpful for you guys but anyway, that completes this video. These were all the products I was loving in the month of, I almost said March. We're not there yet. Well, I mean, we are when you're watching this. It's already March. But leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product of the month was. And if I haven't checked it out, I definitely will. Even though I don't constantly reply to people, I'm always reading through them and writing down your recommendations. So definitely leave them down below. But that completes this video, guys. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Specifically this, specifically the, as this one does not do that. This one, this one.